Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to get all my stuff together. I'm sure it took like that long, hopefully, because our sub is doing a fantastic job and got all our videos good to go. Okay, so I'm going to show you a density tower. Now, you can do this at home, but make sure you ask permission first. It can be a little messy, because the stuff I'm going to be dealing with is a little bit messy. The other thing I'm going to show you today, which has very little to do with science, but it's really, really cool, again, ask permission. Because I don't want to get parents' emails saying, Mr. Beckwith, show me how to do this. And then I'm going to get, yeah, in trouble with your parents. Okay. So I've got four substances I'm going to show you. I'm using the blue water that we used in our investigation last week. So this is just water with blue food coloring in it. Now, the reason I'm using the food coloring water is because I want you to really be able to see in the graduated cylinder. I want you to be able to see that movement. Okay. So I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use Karo Syrup, which if you don't know what Karo Syrup is, you can find it at any grocery store. Now, here's the thing I'm going to teach you that could potentially get me in trouble. So please don't get me in trouble. Karo Syrup is what they used to use in old movies for fake blood, which is kind of disgusting. So, in that spirit, I'm going to pour my Karo Syrup in here, which is very close in color to my vegetable oil that I'm going to use. But I don't want to mix the two of them up because I want to see very clearly which is more and less dense. So I'm going to add some red food coloring to it. And it's going to look a little bit like fake blood. So if you take nothing away from today's lesson, you can at least learn how to make fake blood. Yeah, glad I, glad I taught you that one. I'm pretty confident I'm going to regret it. OK, so once you get it in there, stir it up. Now this stuff is thick. So it's going to take it a second for you to, uh, to get it all kind of spread out. But, and I'm going to give you a nice close-up of this, but this looks pretty close to the color and almost to the consistency of blood. Okay, a little gross though. Now, here's the messy part, and I guarantee you as I'm videoing this, as soon as I start doing this, I'm going to make a mess. So if you're sitting at table one tomorrow and there's a little bit of sticky stuff, sorry I didn't clean it up as good as I needed to. I'm going to pour these things into the graduated cylinder. Now, I know which one of these is more dense and which one of these is less dense, okay? But I'm not going to do it in any particular order. Like, the order I'm going to do it in is going to be a little bit random. Now, we're going to start with the water and the oil. And hopefully you all remember which is more dense and which is less dense. If not, hopefully you'll have it by the time we're done. Okay, so I'm going to very, very carefully. Now, I'm going to turn this around so you're not going to be able to see it, but I need to see how much I'm measuring in here because I'm going to put about 100 milliliters of water and about 100 milliliters of oil. So, unfortunately, the back part's got this yellow, so you can't see it. But once I get it in... I will turn it around so you can see my measurement. Okay. So, and actually you can see through a little bit. So I've got my, I've got my blue water in here with my food coloring, and I've got 100 milliliters. Now I'm going to keep it this direction, and I'm going to try to pour this in there while watching the iPad to make sure I get pretty close to the 200 milliliter mark. We'll see how this goes. Now, as I do this, watch what happens to the oil, okay? Now, when I first poured it in, you could kind of see the oil dropping below that 100 milliliter level. But as I poured more in, what little had gone down there started to rise to the top. And now you can see they're almost completely separated. Oil and water, oil will not dissolve in water. We talked about the other day liquids dissolving in liquids. That's not going to happen with these liquids today. All right. Oil and water will not mix. They will not dissolve in one another. Okay? Now this is the messy part. And I may even have to stop the video for this depending on how messy it gets. But hopefully it won't be too bad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to put it on top of the graduated cylinder. Alright? Then I'm going to flip it. And I want you to watch what happens with the oil and water. Now, why don't we take 30 seconds, because I think that should be enough time. Take 30 seconds and talk to your shoulder partner real quick. What do you think 
will happen when I flip this over. Be very, very specific and explain why you think that. Um, let's have the A's start. If you're at a three-person table, all three of you talk. All right, 30 seconds, go. High five. Now, I'm not in the room, but a good high five should take about five seconds. So if you don't have your arms straight up in the air and your elbow straight, no bent elbows, everybody's hands up, we're not talking right now, we're silent, hopefully the sub's going, oh my goodness, you're doing such a fantastic job of this, instead of, hey you, over there, put your hand up, be quiet, quit talking. I'm not going to say who I think might be doing that, but you know who you are. All right, hopefully we're quiet now. Hands down. All right, let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to put my hand over the top, and hopefully without making too much of a mess, I'm going to flip this over. Now. You should have pretty clearly seen the water, which was on the bottom, completely change places with the oil. Okay? Now, I'm going to flip it back. Now, I'm not going to have you do a discussion with your shoulder partner on this because I think we all know what's going to happen. Hopefully. All right, so let's flip it back and see what happens. Pretty cool. Now, I have too much in this graduated cylinder, so I'm going to use another one. I'm going to leave this so you can kind of see it as a reminder. But what I want you to do right now as I kind of get this ready is I want you to talk about these four substances, and I want you to just guess what order you think they're going to end up in. So remember, we've got our blue water here. We've got our red corn syrup. We've got our vegetable oil. And we've got honey. Now, if you're familiar with any of these things, think about how thick or thin they are. All right? Let's take 30 more seconds. Talk to your shoulder partner. What order do you think these are going to go in? From most dense to less to the least dense. So which one do you think is going to be on the bottom? Then the next one. Then the next one. Then the next one. All right, take 30 seconds. Talk to your shoulder partner. Let's have the B start. Ready? High five. And yes, in case you were wondering, I was counting to 30 in my head and just sitting perfectly still. Now, hopefully you have impressed the sub a second time by how quickly everybody put their hand up in the air and how nobody is talking right now because you know how much I hate it when you talk when I'm talking. And we still have our hands in the air because I still have my hand in the air. Hopefully we're good. Hopefully there's nobody in the room that doesn't have their arm completely straight and there's nobody whispering to the person next to them. All right, I hope I get a good report from this class on how well they high-fived when it was time to stop talking. All right, hands down. All right, so this time I'm only going to do 50 milliliters of each. Now, it's not going to be exact because, again, I'm actually going to try to fill it facing you so you can kind of see what's happening. Um, and so I'm going to kind of have to use the lines in the back. So we're going to see how this goes, but it should be pretty close. Now, I want to do this in such a way so that you can really see the movement. So I'm going to start out with something that I know is less dense than something else, which is my oil and my water. So I'm going to start with the oil. I'm going to put in 50 milliliters of oil. I already know it's going to rise above the water wherever the water ends up. So because I want you to see it, I'm going to do 
50 milliliters of oil. Oop, got a little too much. Now that's fine because I can just pour a little back. All right, I'm a little bit under. And since you guys are doing such a great job of being quiet and listening and not talking while I'm talking, because even though I'm not in the room, I still hate being interrupted while I'm talking. All right, so 50 milliliters of oil. Um, I'm going to skip the water and come back to it. Let's do, I know what y'all want to see. Y'all want to see the fake blood, right? Okay, um, this is the part that could potentially be messy. So hopefully Mr. Beckwith can do this. And once I do this, if I go over, I'm kind of in trouble because I can't pour it back out. So hopefully, I can do a good job and get just 50 milliliters. Okay. Now you may be thinking, Mr. Beckwith, you went over. But I want you to think about this for a second. Was I looking at the red or was I looking at the top level? I was looking at the top level. Oh, drop some. Sorry, whoever sits at this seat. Matthew, Summer, if you're sitting here and it's sticky, sorry. I promise I'll try to clean it up better. Okay, so pretty obvious observation, right? The red immediately sank to the bottom. So I know that the Cairo syrup, the corn syrup, is more dense than the oil, okay? As thick as it was, that's not a big shocker. Okay, we got the honey in the water. I have no idea what you would like to see. Hopefully you're not hollering out randomly at the screen because I'm not really here. This is a video recording from Wednesday. You ever yell at the TV during a sporting event? Yeah, I do too. It's pointless, but whatever. All right, we're going to do the honey next. Again, this is kind of potentially messy too. I'm going to try, actually, I probably need to shake this up just to get it to move. A little bit. <laughs> that still may not be enough. This may be too thick to even pour out. All right, hopefully, once I start squeezing, it'll start going. Oh, come on. This honey is, uh, is clearly old. So, okay, wait a minute. Let's see if I can... Oh, do you really want to see what this looks like? This is disgusting. Okay, I'm giving you fair warning. If you don't want to see this, because it's gross, close your eyes or turn away. I'm going to move, put this really, really close to the camera so you can see it. Yeah, that's dirty, disgusting, crusty honey. And it's about to get even grosser because I really want you to see the honey. So I'm going to stick my finger in it. Oh, oh, that's good. That's, oh, no, that's too much. Oh, it smells. It smells so bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna... Hopefully that's off camera because that's disgusting. Okay. Let's see if I can get some honey out here. Okay, I got a little bit. I got a little bit coming. Alright, so let's give this a whirl. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 50 milliliters out of this, but I'm going to try... Oh, here's some that's some that's some good stuff right there. Look at that. Yeah, uh-huh. I know we all know what we think that looks like, but please do not talk about it in class. That's disgusting. Okay. Okay. Maybe just a little bit. Now, I'm going to have to finish this up quick because I can only put a 15-minute video on YouTube. Now, the honey, as you can see, is moving. Let's spice things up a little bit and put the water in because we're kind of in a rush. Now, things are moving right now. It's Wednesday. It's about 4.30. Y'all are at home playing video games, and I'm up here working. I'm going to let this sit out until Friday, and I'm actually going to have it in a cabinet, and I'm not even going to talk about it. So we're going to let it sit for about 36 hours, 
and then we're going to see what it looks like. So you can kind of see the honey and the corn syrup is sort of mixing a little bit right now. The oil and the water very clearly separated. But I kind of don't know what these two are going to do. All right. So I'm going to stop it. We're going to put it away. And I'll let you guys look at it on Friday. Okay. This video is 15 minutes and 23 seconds. Hopefully YouTube will let me upload. All right, guys. Do your assignment. Work hard. I better get a good report from the sub. Y'all have a good weekend.